Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Texas Drones. And I just got off of Amazon and I found an awesome, inexpensive soldering kit that you guys might be interested in coming up. And ordered these items on Amazon. And I am an Amazon Prime member, um, something I would definitely encourage uh, you guys to do if you order a lot of stuff online. And it seems like a lot of people are doing that because stuff is getting pretty inexpensive, fast shipping, and uh, Amazon is just an incredible place to shop online. So they connect for a lot with a lot of other companies and make things happen pretty quickly. So uh, the name of the store on Amazon is All In Good Time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... For you guys that don't know, um, I bought this kit because I'm going to be doing some uh, mods and upgrades and things like that on my uh, Hubson drone as well as uh, another drone I have and then uh, some more drones I'm going to be getting in the future. So um, just a couple of things um, that we're going to be adding to the 501S-S -S is these right here, these little dipoles. Uh, these are for the FPV. Uh, these are going to go on the actual drone. Um, these are pretty uh, awesome, uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I looked up on YouTube, and I wanted to increase the range, and so uh, I went online and uh, found these guys right here. Uh, they're uh, Maker Fire. There's two pieces, a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5.8 gigahertz dipole whip. So uh, if I can get these things open, um, let's see here. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got these right here. These are going to go on the outside of the shell, um, probably towards the back, and they'll probably maybe be like this. Uh, it's probably not enough room to do them side by side, you know. But uh, they're only maybe like an inch and a half long. Um, definitely a uh, nice hard plastic, so it's probably going to be very durable. Um, so these are going to be fantastic to use. So definitely excited about that. Um, I didn't spend that much in everything that I got in the kit here. So um, definitely, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to find a good deal. And, uh, you know, I searched around a lot and I felt real comfortable with that store all in good time. And I went ahead and, and ordered these things and uh, with a good price, fast shipping, and they had a lot of really good reviews. So uh, this right here is another one. It's from One Link More and also from the store. And these are just some pigtails that are just a uh, little two inch ones. Um, you never know when you might need that in the hub uh, or in the hub, in the Hubson, uh, inside the shell um, or even inside um, your controller. So uh, it's good to have a couple of these. You know, I'm building my, um, my little tool chest and my little uh, accessory chest with all the extra components and things like that. So, uh, okay, here's what uh, uh, also we ordered. We got four pigtails here now. These are seven inches long, and these we're going to use inside of the drone, inside the quadcopter. And it's for changing out different things, changing out the 2.4 and the 5.8 and stuff because of where they're located. So you really need that extra length for that. Now, look at this cable right here. That, I don't know the camera focus in, but that is really thick. Uh, this is really heavy duty stuff. So uh, I'm definitely pleased about this. This is a lot better than what comes factory in the drone, in the Hubson. So um, this is real, real good. So I'm excited about that. Um, all right, on to the main course. <laughs> um, we got here is the kit. Now this was the main thing I was after online. And then um, I picked up the other stuff. So this is a, your basic uh, soldering kit. Uh, made by um, NBES or ANBES, something like that. I don't really know. Uh, Anbus. Uh, like I said, I'm new to the industry. So, um, all right. So let's open this up. And it looks like inside, it's going to have a bit of kind of like a, a here we go, a user's manual. So um, you have parts and attributes. So it looks like this is like a packing list. Everything that's in there. So you get about 12 or 13 different things. I'll just go over them real quick. You get different iron tips. You have two uh, different shape tips, uh, make soldering uh, easier. You have uh, 22 AWG electric wire. 
Um, this is for PCB board, uh, sector, uh, citri uh, sorry, circuit welding. You have wire stripper cutter uh, used for punch down uh, wires on modular connectors. Then you have the solder wire. Then you have the digital multimeter, so that's awesome. Um, in case you want to check the current on a lot of different things or maybe check for continuity, that's another big thing. So if you're getting into drones, you're getting into electronics, you need to have a multimeter. And if you don't have one you, and you don't have this other stuff, you might as well get this kit. I'll leave a link in the description to their store and to this item. I think they still had more available um, in the description. So definitely hop on that. Uh, then some test leads, uh, some screwdrivers. You got eight screwdriver heads included. So that's like, wow. Um, okay, here you got the screwdrivers there. You got um, the carrying bag that it comes in, the soldering iron stand. Um, that's a little, that's kind of like, um, it's like a sponge right there. And um, what that is, is you want that to be wet. You put it on your tray and then you go ahead and, and uh, this is what holds your soldering gun in. Um, when you're using it, you got some tweezers here and then you got a uh, desoldering pump and then adjustable temperature soldering iron. Now that is important because different things that you're soldering require different temperatures. So uh, you definitely, definitely want to look into that. And then down here just gives you some uh, operation related awareness on electrical welding, electronic welding. And then in the back, you know, kind of helps show you how to use the multimeter and things like that. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, and there's some symbols here you may want to take note about and understand. So you got AC uh, voltage, you got DC voltage, DC current, and all these other different things there. So that's definitely stuff that's important. All right. I really like this case. Uh, feels nice and solid. Um, I like the green on black. I think that's pretty cool. And this is really good. Uh, really good. Look how organized that is. Everything has its own little strap. Um, I'm really liking that. Uh, that's excellent. So, looks here you got your desoldering, you got your tweezers and your cutters and uh, wires and uh, soldering and stuff. Um, your different tips. This is awesome right here. And then you got, and there's one tip already on there. And then, uh, so you got all these guys in there. You got your leads and then on your soldering iron here let's see here we can get this out let's go okay so look you got an on off switch okay i'm digging that so you plug that in turn this guy on and um i really like it it's it's lightweight as you know they should be because they're all small sorry about that guys i bumped the camera um so it looks like to change out the tips um looks like you might unscrew this here I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Okay, yep, there it is. So that's how you take the tip out. So that's really good. And then uh goes on there. And then you push that on there. So that's really awesome. That's real easy to change out. So when you're changing that out, changing that out, you want to make sure that you have everything off for a good while because you do not want to burn yourself with that. That's you're gonna have a bad day with it. Um, okay, so here's the other awesome thing right here. Temperature. You can change the temperature on it. Now that is really small, fine print in there. I don't even know if I can read it. Uh, looks like you got, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not. But uh, you got 200, 250, 300. Uh, let's see here. You got 350, 400, and 450. So that's a lot. Uh, it's a 110 uh, volt and it's 60 watts. So this uh, solder and iron will definitely do the job, get you going nice and compact. So that's excellent. Um, here is that little tray. Um, let's see here. So there you go. And then it looks like your little sponge here. You're gonna you're gonna wet that. Put this uh, these nuts on the bottom um, here. Now you can adjust that either there. Uh, looks like there. I don't know what goes here. I haven't looked at the instructions yet. So you're gonna wet this here, and you're gonna place that there. So that way, uh, if you need to clean your tip off, you can clean it off there. And then your soldering gun goes in right there. Yeah, that is awesome, and it keeps the tip away from other things because it's going to be real hot. So that is great. I'm excited about this. Um, let's take a look at these cutters. Okay, so you got some strippers here. It looks like you got some cutters. So that's oh, here we go. Got different size wire here for strippers, and then if you need to cut something right here, you can just pull it down and cut right through it. So that's cool. You got uh, let's see here. You got your tweezers. Oh, this is neat. Got this little cover on there. Uh, so that way it keeps them, I, I really like that. That way you don't damage 
your tips here because that's important to keep those tips you know sometimes you need to file those down and get them real pointy uh, in case you can get in those tight spots you know so i really like this cover on there that's that's pretty cool um all right let's see here so uh this is our looks like this is our screwdriver here let's take this out all right so let's see on a screwdriver here we have a whole bunch all right so uh, we need to figure out, oh, here we go. So all you, you have the different size screw bits in here, uh, Phillips, and uh, you got um, you got the small little flat heads, and then they just go right in here on this end, just like that. And then you have, it's kind of like a pin, it's got the little clip. So that's pretty cool, I really like that. And then you got your desoldering here. So when you're ready to desolder those components, and you get that, uh, that soldering hot, press that, and it sucks it right back in here. So uh, that's really cool. I'm definitely pretty excited about this kit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the hub set probably in the next week or two when I have some more time. And I'll definitely share that project with you guys and how all of the different tools really come uh, handy in that project. So um, if you have any questions, comments, or any suggestions, please let me know. Leave, leave them in the comment section below. I'll leave a link where I bought these items from on Amazon. Please subscribe, hit that like button, that share button, and don't forget, to click, don't forget to click that little bell or however you do that shape. I'm Kevin with Texas Drones, and we'll see you next time.